Uh, and it that you know think how unfortunate that would be <laughs> <laughs> well i'm gonna jump back out here and let you guys have the stage it's so good to see you thank you very much it's very nice to hear you as well all right so we'll get some people raising some hands it's a great the stage here super we got opted oberst i'll invite him on here all right Oberst, I let you sent you an invite to the stage here. Alrighty, um, hi Jeff. It's, hey. it's fantastic to uh, to talk to you in person. This is this is wonderful. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, just just a quick question for you here. Um, sure. How did you yourself break into the games industry and get into voice acting? Did you was it open audition? Did uh, you have contacts? Well, the, uh, first of all, I, I began a voiceover career, and that happened back in 1976. And at that point, it was simply that I, uh, I was acting at a theater comedy called The Empty Space. And a number of people who did commercials would come and see our shows. One in particular loved to work with actors as opposed to voice talent. He didn't want radio announcers. He wanted people who could play characters. And so we all started working for him. Then the sound engineer that he used started recommending me to other people. And I would say for the first 15 years, I didn't have an agent. I just kept getting, you know, um, asked for uh, through my friend Jerry Thompson, the sound guy. Um, and then at a certain point, I was running a theater because I'm a stage actor and director as well. And I got a call from a casting person saying, would you come in and audition for a film? And I was like, oh, well, I guess, sure, why not? So I did, and that didn't happen. But afterwards I said, you know, Jody is her name. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have an agent. And she, I, she said, well, who are you thinking of? And I told her. And she said, well, I'm sure they'd love to have you. There's a new boutique agency opening up. Um, and uh, this person, Topo Swope is her name, um, would probably love to represent you. And I went, oh, okay. Well, I'll get on that at some point soon. Well, then I get a phone call the next morning at 9 in the morning while I was still asleep. And it was Topo saying, I want to represent you. And I said, oh, okay. So after that, I was with her, and she would send me out. And the first game that I was sent out for, I think, was something called Phantasmagoria. Um, and it was at that point, because I didn't know anything, I didn't have a computer at that point. It was at that point I thought, I should probably learn how to work a computer, especially if I'm going to be in computer games. And uh, that's what happened. So after that, I auditioned for... Phantasmagoria. I wasn't in Phantasmagoria. I auditioned for Phantasmagoria too, but I had to turn it down because it was an acting job I wanted. But then I started doing games. So Microsoft um, cast me for what was it called? Midtown Motor Madness or something and a game called The Russian Front um, and I was, there were there was a company here that was doing kids games Pajama Sam um Oh, what were the other games? I can't remember. Uh, Spy Fox. So I was in all of those. Mm -hmm. And then one day I got a phone call from my agent saying, you've got an audition out at Microsoft in Bellevue, which is across the, a big lake from Seattle where I was living. And I thought, okay. So I drove on out and I walked in. I didn't even know what it was for. I mean, nobody told me what it was for. Mm -hmm. So I just went in and I was given copy to read. And uh, so I you know, did the audition, um, and uh, there's a little side story about that, but I'll skip that for right now, just to try and answer okay. your question. <laughs> um, anyway, what happened was, I was offered uh, the uh, job of the multiplayer announcer, and I thought, great. So, I didn't have a clue what I was doing until I walked in on the very first day of recording, mm -hmm. met Marty O'Donnell, um, who was great. He was always, I just adored him. In fact, I was in touch with him recently because a friend of his uh, uh, contracted me to do a cameo for Marty, which was so weird. And I spent most of the cameo just going, how are you? What's going on? And my God, I haven't seen anything. Oh, how, are you okay? And then he emailed me and we chatted. But he took me around and showed me what at the time was thought to be state-of-the-art visuals. Now, if you saw that very first Halo game, it looks pretty clunky. Now, it looks a little bit like some of the sci-fi films 
from the 80s where you sort of go, ooh, you know, the original Battlestar Galactic. Right. You know, it's like, hey, yeah, okay. Um, obviously, now they do things much more impressively, but at the time, we were impressed. And that's how I started with Halo. Um, and more often than not, any job like this comes through my agents. And I've got one here in Seattle. I also have an agent in New York because I lived in New York for about six and a half years uh, from 2004 to 2010, something like that. And um, they would send me out for stuff. And occasionally, you know, I'd be lucky enough to book it, which is how I ended up doing um, a Grand Theft Auto. I did a little thing for that. Um, I did a bunch of different games. But that is how I did it. I was already an actor. I had started doing commercials, things like that. And eventually that led into uh, games. Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, thank you so much. And love from Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver, I want to come visit, but I, I guess it's still a little bit tricky getting across the border. A little bit. We uh, we hope to have you here. <laughs> I look forward to it. Yeah, take care, I'm Jeff. In Seattle, you. so, yeah, oh, take beautiful. Care. Very close. Okay, yeah. bye-bye. Bye. Oh, really? Well, I would. Have, well, a lot of these were actually just voiceovers. They weren't. I did some on-camera commercials. I did one for Lincoln Mercury, which, as it happened, was the car that my father, who was a car dealer, sold. It was probably the proudest moment of his life when he saw me, you know, in a commercial for the car. I think he took it seriously at that point. It's like. Oh, okay, this is real. All right. Hi there. Um, hey, uh, thanks for inviting me up, and it's nice to meet you, Jeff. And I you as well. Had, um, a quick question. This one sure. is um, kind of just a, a general question i was just wondering considering how many games you've been in like how many halo games you've been in as the right. answer which game has your favorite like performance from you whether that's due to how they sound in the game the lines themselves or something else entirely um i would say and this is apparently it's everybody else's favorite game too i think it's probably three and uh, the reason actually has nothing to do with my performance because I don't like the way I sound, ever. Um, I, I can't bear to look at myself on film or TV. I can't bear to listen to myself. It's weird. But that was the last game that Bungie was involved with. And by then, I kind of feel like we sort of had it down a bit, if that makes sense. Now, I understand... Yeah. I wasn't aware of this at the time, but evidently, too, was, you know, a, a bit of a catastrophe. Uh, they tried to, you know, do it really, really quickly, and people were, you know, dropping dead. I don't know what was going on, but evidently it was hard, and it, was, it had its issues. But when we got to three, it felt like everything sort of clicked, and it was also then the last time that I worked with those guys. The fellow that I tended to work with, the, the sound engineer, who was also a sound designer, Jay Wineland, was a good friend of mine. I directed his wife in a, a plays. Um, and he was gone as well because he went with Bungie off to work on Destiny. And then, of course, everybody ended up sort of getting fired there. So, you know, he had a bit of a meltdown and moved to Scotland and now he's down in LA working for another company and Marty still has something going on. But it was all those people. I really liked those people. And then when 343 came in, again, very, very nice people, but it was a different dynamic. Um, the fellow that I worked with for 4 and 5, I think, uh, started out on what was a tricky foot. He basically was telling me how to say all the lines and... Uh, sort of micromanaging 
the performance, which I wasn't used to. Um, and indeed, with that game, there were all sorts of people that showed up on social media going, you know, get Jeff Steicher back. Who's this new guy? It's not what we're used to. And it's like, no, it's, it's still me. I'm just doing what I was asked to do. And we sort of, I think, worked that out so that, you know, they, at a certain point, we were recording, and I said, you know, it would really help me if maybe we could go back and listen to, like, one of the uh, early games, which was a ploy, of course, but we did, and they went, oh, 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 yeah, no, no, you're, no, you're right, you go ahead, you do it the way, yeah, you do, do it the way you want to do it. It's like, thank you. So, that helped a little bit. So, I'd say three. That, that makes sense. And yeah. personally, I, I think 3 is really up there for me yeah. as well. What's um, your favorite? Infinite I like a lot too, though. That it's is very good. That is very, very good to hear because everybody I've talked to say, you know, it's classic Halo, which is great. Um, and uh, I have not had a chance to play it yet. Things have been a little bit too crazy uh, in my life. But the folks I know who are playing it, and many of them are like, you know, doing it over a weekend or taking off work have been very positive about it. So that's that delights me, obviously. Thank you for answering my question. It was absolutely really nice to have the opportunity. Well, it's my pleasure. I will make way for someone else. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Cool. It is an honor to meet you, good sir. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Very nice to meet you as well. Yeah, sending love from Virginia. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. I did have three just real quick questions. Um, I'll try to answer them quickly. I do tend to go on. <laughs> That's all good. Um, Marty, forgive me what I was going to say. Oh, um, have you ever met Steve Downs? Oh, yes, I have, absolutely. Uh, but it did not happen until two years ago. In all that time, uh, and what happened was I had gone out to record, and this was right, literally, this was in February, right before everything shut down in our area for the pandemic. And Steve was there. I tried to meet him a couple of times when I was in Chicago visiting. Oh, I've got a lot of pals in Chicago. And that, at the time, was where he was living. Now he's living in Florida, I believe. Um, and so I actually had a chance to meet with him, and I recently did a virtual convention with Steve and with my very, very dear friend, Jen Taylor, who is Cortana. I know her very, very well, but I've had a chance to connect with Steve, and I, I think he's delightful. Um, my other question was, I was, I don't know, this is kind of weird. I was playing Infinite the other day, and I uh -huh. missed the uh, medal that you get for... Uh, from the grave, if you kill somebody after you die, uh, that's like one, that's one of my favorite medals, and I couldn't help but wonder what would it sound like if you said "cradle to the grave." That right, the, right now, you yeah, say, it's the most cradle to the grave, like that. Yeah, I think I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I've it bugged me for two weeks. I wanted to hear you say that, but um. I don't know why things end up in the game and why other things don't. I've never understood that. They don't consult me. Um, I, in fact, the way we tend to record is that I go line by line. I do three takes, and they decide the one they're going to use. And, you know, it's one of those things where as, we, as I do the lines, I'll do double kill, double kill, double kill, you know, whatever it is. And I'll try and guess which one the producer is going to choose. I'm almost always wrong. Hmm. What's your favorite one? My favorite what? Line? Yeah, your favorite metal. Or... Uh, well, the, the thing I love to say the most probably is unfreaking believable. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just, it, I, well, because I guess I can do what I just did to it. And, <laughs> you know, be stupid about it. Yeah, I, I, that's the one I, I've always loved saying that. Nice. And I'm going to be a little, little pity on my last one. Just wondering, could I add you as a friend? <laughs> Do what? <laughs> Can I add you as a friend? <laughs> yeah, sure. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's very nice meeting you, sir. Nice meeting you as well. Thanks so much. Uh, you have a good day.
Uh, being a banger, you can hear me. All right. It's two questions, but the first question is extremely fast. What took me the second one is? Uh, buddy, it's such a great honor to see you here. I, I you love, very much. I love your work in here. <laughs> uh, you are not on the development team, but do you know if we're getting DOC by any chance? I do not know anything about that whatsoever. As I say, uh, as I told the last caller, it's like they don't tell me anything. And in fact, at one point, I was having coffee with Jen Taylor, who's Cortana, and I was asking her about Infinite. And I said, "So what? What's going on in the game? What happens?" And she said, "I can't. I can't tell you." And I said, "Jen, it's me. I'm like an old friend." Nope, couldn't tell. We've all got NDAs, and you know we have to take yeah, care of the Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Uh, the last question is, uh, I'm going to sound like a crazy person, but can you say, welcome to Helena's Forge, please? Which is Forge? Welcome to Helena's Forge. Welcome to Helena's Forge. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, next person. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. How do I get out? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing good. I ran one of the errands I needed to take care of before. I actually got myself dressed and out the door. So, yeah, I'm doing fine. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Jeff. Um, hello. First off, uh, excuse my uh, accent. Um, English is not my first language. And, uh, okay, the question is, if you were to give your voice to any character in Halo, what kind of character would you like or do you might you need to be? A Spartan? A Marine? Even an Elite? Chief's dead? Oh, I but, think probably, I think an alien, don't you? I mean, you know, it, yeah. interestingly enough, one of the things I auditioned for in the original game was an alien. And I was doing a sort of, you know, strange voice, and I can't remember what it was for. Um, nice. I don't know that it ever even showed up in the game, but uh, I, I, I think playing the bad guy is always more fun than oh, playing really the good cool. guys. Yeah, that would be what I'd probably choose, if I had a choice. Awesome. And uh, what, just one last thing. Now that we were talking about favorite medals, mine is, and I'm glad they get this one for, for Infinite, is a perfect medal. Just the name is, the, the, the name says it, it's perfect. Perfect? Yeah. Oh, so just perfect. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. Thank you so Was much, Mr. Perfect? Jeff. Absolutely. Thank you very much for calling in. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello? Okay. Oh, oh totally man. understand. I'm surprised I'm here. It's... Uh, hello. But, yeah, I didn't really see it because it's a small bit at the top. Yeah. Don't really look up there. But, um, hey, it's really I, nice to meet you. And you as well. Uh, coming from all the way in England Fantastic. today. Fantastic. I love England. <laughs> Whereabouts in England are you? 
uh, about in the middle, actually. Just southish. Yeah, about middle. East Midlands ish. Excellent. But, um, yeah, I got one question this time, and sure. not two or three other people have had. <laughs> but, um, how did you feel after Halo wanted released and all that? How did it, did it feel, really? When it was first released? Yeah. Nobody was prepared for it. I mean, it's interesting to know that when that game was first done, with the exception of Steve Downs, who was mass is Master Chief, I think everybody else in the game was local. Um, they were all Seattle people because, you know, nobody knew if it was going to be anything, and it turned out to be insane. Um, and after that, they started reaching out to, you know, celebrity voice actors like Keith David and Peter Dinklage and all sorts of other people. Um, and, in fact, there was one day I was in recording, and I was told, uh, Jeff, there's a chance that somebody may be coming in to observe your work. Do you mind? It was like, no, I don't care. And I record in a little tiny booth about the size of a phone booth, you know? One of those old phone booths like you, you guys used to have. An oh, English. yeah. Teeny. And so I was sitting there, and what would happen is there's a glass in front of me, and through the glass, I can see the uh, where the engineer and the producer were sitting. Only two people. So I would look down, and I would do like maybe twenty five lines, and then I look up and you know get feedback, you know, but connect with them that way. And I so at one point I looked down, I went through like twenty five different lines. I looked up. Suddenly, there were like twenty five people in this other little tiny room. And I recognized the person directly in front of me, who was Hayden Christensen, who was Darth Vader in the prequels for Star Wars. Basically, he had flown up at their invitation, Bungie's, to visit because they were courting him to do a voice, which he did not do. But, you know, we spoke a little bit, and then I put my head down to 25 lines. When I looked back up, the room had emptied. They'd all disappeared. So that was an indication of what it became. Who knew? You know, I had no idea. It was great. You know, I enjoyed it. But um, like any actor, I was often, you know, doing a bunch of other gigs as well. Just keep going. Keep running. Wow. Yeah. Well, that is insane, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, I still. You know, it's weird. Over the years, I've, I've encountered people, and they find out, you know, that I do this voice. And very often, the response is, I'm always sort of gobsmacked by it. Because, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I don't think what I do is all that remarkable. And, you know, to have it be such a large part of so many people's lives is unbelievable to me. And also extraordinarily humbling, um, I, I have to say. it's it's. It's amazing to me, you know. And because it's my voice, it's not like I'm recognized when I walk down the street. Yeah, so it isn't like a normal thing if I was, I did films or I was, you know, did a lot of Broadway plays or something, you know, it might be different. But with this, it's just that voice and they only know the voice when I do it. Because my own voice, you know, doesn't really sound like what I do to do the voice. So. Yeah, you take on an accent or a raised pitch and all that. Yeah, yeah, I, I mangle my, my vocal cords to do that voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, does that answer your question? That does answer my question, Jeff. Thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Um, well, probably, I would say maybe another 10 minutes at the most. Is, isn't it like, what do I have? I've got 135, about 145 would be good. Oh, well, yeah, I know you said that, but it was like, meh, I'm having fun. Well, I hope the folks are as well who are tuned in.
Hello. 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 Who is this? Me. <laughs> So, I know a lot of people don't like how 343 has made a lot of the Halo games. Uh -huh. Like, they're not the favorite of most people. How would you say you like the 343 games more than the Bungie? Well, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, you know, I really loved Halo 3, and a lot of that is because it was, as I said, the last one I did with Marty O'Donnell. Um, as far as, I, it's very interesting because, you know, I think anybody that takes over a franchise like this wants to really put their stamp on it, you know? They're not necessarily going to do it exactly like the people who came before. They have their own ideas, they've got their own stuff they're trying to accomplish. And I think that happened to a certain extent with 343. So it wasn't perhaps so much a case of, you know, their games weren't good. They just weren't what folks were used to, perhaps. Um, and as, as, as I was saying to one of the callers earlier, you know, what I'm hearing right now is that people really love Halo Infinite and feel like it, they say it feels like classic Halo. And by that, I think they mean, you know, those earlier games so it isn't as if 343 can't do that there was a period when we first started with them i know for a fact that there was a kind of a push to um basically uh, uh find all new people for the game they were going to replace us all and then for one reason or another that didn't happen um and i think that that was smart because I think that people did get pretty attached to the voices that they recognized. You know, I mean, can you imagine Halo without Steve Downs? I don't know what it would be like. Um, I mean, we'll sort of get an idea when the Halo TV show comes out in a month or two, whenever it's going to drop, because of course, Steve is not playing master chief in the TV series. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, and we'll see what people think about that. It'll be interesting. I so, know, yeah. I know somebody else already asked you this. Yeah. But, uh, do you mind if I friend you? Oh, go ahead. Absolutely. Thanks. Absolutely. God, I love gamer tags. I do. I have to say, I don't know where you guys get it. Somebody came on Cameo and said that they got their gamer tag. It was like chosen for them. That that you can do that for the game. I don't know. I know. It's not, well, that's a that that worked out pretty well, I'd say. But yeah, yeah. I uh, mine was semi given to me. I had I was probably like eleven when I got mine. And I wanted wow. Bloodbath, but it was taken, and so it, it offered up Max Bloodbath in, in exchange, and I was like, oh, that's even better. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I was wondering if I doubt that you would be able to answer whether or not you uh, were invited at all to do a cameo or anything in the show, but if, you, if they asked you, would you be interested in doing a cameo in, in the show? Uh, Heartbeat. In a heart <laughs> I was just talking to my sister today, and she just heard about this series. She said, are, are you involved with that? And I went, no. Mother. <laughs> uh, no, they're not. It, very interesting, though, because my friend Jen, who is Cortana, of course, is involved with the TV show. And um, during the pandemic, they flew her to, I believe it was Romania to do the stuff that she does in the series. And I, to, I, I will tell you right now, I, ha I don't know anything about the series. She called, uh, we chatted a couple of times. She was in a hotel room uh, because of the pandemic. She couldn't go outside when she wasn't on set. Um, and it was very, you know, it was hard. It wasn't fun to be 
that far away from her home and her husband and her animals, you know. She lives here in Seattle. But um, I I told her, I said, I think you're going to be, you know, you're gonna, your career is going to go through the roof when this TV series comes out. And certainly, I haven't seen a lot, but the little teaser trailer they put out, that got me pretty excited, you know. So, yes, if they ever asked me to come in and, you know, do something, of course I would. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks. That's all I got. Absolutely. Thanks so much for the question. Um, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's do one more question if somebody wants to ask me something, and then we'll, that'll be it. How about that? Okay. Hey, Jeff. It was nice, uh, it's nice having you on here. Thank uh, you so much. I've just got one small question, and i got to figure out how to phrase this. Um, I've noticed with the earlier games, you almost had a more, a, um, stoic approach to how you did your voices to where in like Halo 4 and 5 and Infinite you have a more um, expressive way of expressing them. Uh-huh. Is there, do you have a different almost uh, mindset of doing the voices in the newer games than you did back then or is that more of like a, a 343 thing they decided? That's no. Uh, interestingly enough, I mean, I, I have not gone back and listened to a lot of the earliest recordings um but in it depends a little bit on what kind of a line i've given do you know what i mean you know so if i've got blue team go red team go you know it sounds a little bit more military kind of stuff but then occasionally when you get a line you know like uh oh i don't know there was a line that we almost had in the game and i think this was around the time of three and they wouldn't let us do it where I said, you stuck. You know, where it was obviously messing with the player who had fucked up. Um, so I think, if anything, I would say that when 343 came in, they were taking out a lot of the character in the voice. That was what I was being asked to do. So that you know, rather than that character who had, like, a really low voice and stuff. It was sounding a little bit more like my... It felt like that's what we were doing. Okay, so they, they were doing a little bit more of your own personal characterization. That was yeah. that was kind of the way it felt, yeah. It's been a, a been seriously a pleasure, my man. Thank you for coming on here. Absolutely. And, uh, my I, I gotta, it's a, it may be a little selfish, but I also gotta ask for that friend request. <laughs> sure. Alright, take it easy, guys. Take, take it easy. Yeah. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you guys so much for having me. I really appreciate it. If you can, I'd be surprised if you found them. I, you know, it's been a lot of TV stuff. What did I do? I can't even think what my last commercial was. The, uh, this about a month or so ago, a couple of months ago now, when Halo was coming out, I did a bunch of things that were Halo related. I don't know whether any of them played. You know, the checks showed up. Um, so, but that doesn't always mean that you know that they're running. Um, what was it? One of them was for. Uh, uh, one of the a TV something with TV was to try and encourage people to play to buy the TV to play uh, Halo on. I can't remember what TV it was. Anyway, but you know, and then I would I just came on and did you know that voice doing lines. <laughs> I don't remember a lot about it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a great, great, great time uh, at your tournament. All right, man. Take care. Bye.